Yeah. They kept saying, now you should, you know, make sure many cars don't join you even as you leave Kavle. We said, but number one, we are several leaders, each of us with our own means of transport, so we have got to move. Yeah. But number two, several other people get to join us along the way. That's not a determination that we can make. And we cannot be responsible for everybody that gets to join us because maybe even some wrong elements can join us along the way. Yes, today the Ugandan police has yet again decided to leave the NUP move across the country. We all know that NUP had the countrywide tours which were by the way successful and they threatened the police which led to the uh, 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 to, uh, to calling them on the table so that they can negotiate on how they will move around the country. We all know that Uganda has a history of poor democracy. Uganda has a history of banning political gatherings. And even these gatherings which are going on, they are regulated because of the International Committee putting pressure on this regime. That's why they first left the first phase, then the second phase partially, and now they are trying to contain them using gimmicks. So today the NUP leadership, which consisted of the Secretary General Louis Lubongoya and the leader of opposition, were able to go and sit down with the police to see on how they can galvanize, on how they can move which I think they will keep on sabotaging. So in this episode, I've come to talk about the NUP national tour, which is starting again on 15th. What would have been made better by the NUP leadership, but most importantly, the sedimentaries we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to remember that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if and you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube. Type in Sula Mawagari. There's a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So at the start of 2024, NUP had the second phase of nationwide tour, and it was successful. Not until the rally which took place in, in Masaka, succeeded. Uh, then the police came in so that it can regulate. It's not a bad thing to regulate political, political gatherings, but in the, Uganda has a history of banning political gatherings. I kept on telling people that even these small tours we see in the countries because of the international pressure. Remember, General Kaguta M7 is going to make 40 years in power. And by the, the, the look of history, all, all previous leaders who have made those years suffer a setback when it comes to in the international community. So, when police allowed the NUP to do its tour again, uh, the leader of opposition came out and said these statements. Here is the tape. They did invite us for a meeting after we wrote, notifying them about our next phase of the countrywide tour. You remember, we were meant to start this very week, but when they wrote asking us to meet them on Thursday, we said, no problem, we can pause a little bit, meet with them, engage, and uh, we establish what concerns there are and so on. Yeah. They kept saying, now you should, you know, make sure many cars don't join you even as you leave Kavle. We said, but number one, we are several leaders, each of us with our own means of transport, so we have got to move. Yeah. But number two, several other people get to join us along the way. That's not a determination that we can make. And we cannot be responsible for everybody that gets to join us because maybe even some wrong elements can join us along the way. And that's why we have told police, that's why we notify you so that you come, be present as we, you know, carry out our activities, not to stop them, but to make sure law and order is prevailing. That is the lead of opposition. First of all, even the, the way the lead of opposition speaks, it shows that the police is... Uh, being unfair. We all know other opposition leaders or other opposition political parties are moving across the country except NUP. Do you know why? Because NUP attracts a lot of support and it threatens the regime. And we all know that the police is full of cadres ever since Genome 7 came into power. In fact, it was even a surprise when a career policeman was made the IGP. The police ever since we, we we got our independence, either the IGP or the deputy IGP have been from the military. So it is only today that the IGP and his deputy are career policemen. So it shows that we are trying, we, we are too 
fighting towards the right direction. Secondly, when you see, it shows that the NUP country world tour on 15th is going to be in Bundibujo. When you look at that poster, then 16th is Shaka Bushenyi, 17th Rukunjiri, 18th in Tungamu, 19th in Sinjiro. Although I think there is a slight mistake which was made, since it is a launch of the third phase of the country world tour, I would expect that that. The, the launch of the third phase was made in a stronghold. When I talk about the stronghold, I mean here in Uganda. Either the launch must be made in big cities, if, you know, if not in Uganda, or in big cities, maybe Busoga, so that it can show that they are going to launch the third phase. But going to Bundibuju and Ishaka in the stronghold of January Kaguta Museven, because the Western region in most cases, Ishaka Busheng, is taken as the stronghold of. Okay. January Kaguta M7. So, I think the only, this is my advice, I think the launch would have been made either, either in Ibosoga or in uh, Buganda. The start may not be bad, but I think it would be better either in Ibosoga or Buganda. So that, but it is a good sign that democracy must be fought for. Okay? In fact, when we are fighting for democracy, we must not relent. We must keep on fighting so that we can see our country liberated. Of course, that's my opinion. Do me your comments by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on the YouTube channel, I employ you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.